So I'm sitting here tonight. Um, it's a Monday and I haven't been sleeping very well lately. One of the things that's been on my mind and that I've just been feeling like I'm supposed to be talking about and sharing about is what's happening with our girls. Um, I guess for me to speak on in the US and um, I teach I've taught alternative high schoolers I've taught elementary I've taught just about every grade level I've been a recreational therapist um, where I've worked with girls with eating disorders um, I have a lot of experiences around women, around girls, um, and I started young, and I know that God put me in this world to work with people, and I'm kind of one of those people that wherever I go, my husband now teases me, um, I, people kind of find me, and it seems like it's usually someone or women or girls that need something. And um, at the age of 44, I can now say that I realized that God gave me the heart and the personality to be there for people that sometimes need it and aren't able to um, find someone that connects with them or listens to them or is there for them. And for the last couple of years, I have known or felt in my heart, in my mind, that I needed to do something to start helping um, the loneliness, the um, the struggle for our young girls right now. Um, as an educator, as a mom now of a young girl, it's sad for me to see how many girls in our society all over the, the United States um, doubt themselves, um, question themselves, and, and feel not good enough, feel like they don't fit in, like they can't fit in, that they have to be something, something that media, society, um, other girls have told them that they need to be. And, you know, I guess in a way, my struggles in my life have taught me and shown me that I'm here to say, you don't need to be anything for anyone or to fit in or to be okay. And that the more that you try to do that, the more you're going to feel alone and um, not yourself. Um, I feel like a lot of things that have happened to me in my life have been really tough. Um, I was bullied. Um, I struggled with some things in college that happened and it totally could have crushed me, totally could have pushed me down and they were hard and they took a long time for me. They, they've, they've changed me and they've made me who I am. But I also feel like God is taking who I am now and saying, Chelsea, you have the ability to use your knowledge and your background to speak to speak the truth and for so long I tried so hard to be who I thought I should be for friends for jobs for um, my, my, my family and I always felt more empty by the end I always felt more alone more confused um, 
and and I guess for me I look at girls now and I say I see that I see those holes I hear those holes I see you trying to be something that you're not I see you trying to wear clothing that you're not comfortable in I hear you talking the words that aren't your true you and 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 are taking away from your true spirit and your true heart to be what you think you should be and who you think you want to be or you need to be to fit in. And girls, you don't. And the one thing that I've shared along my path with some girls and women is if you change, if you constantly mold to what you think you ought to be and how you ought to dress and talk and hang around, who will you end up around that you're going to be okay with anyway? You end up around people that you can't even relax with, that you can't speak to, that you can't let your guard down with, that you can't open up to. Because all along, you have not been you. And that saddens me. Because when you're really you, when you just relax and trust who you feel you are, and maybe laugh at silly things, or comment on something that you really like, a song that other people might think is dorky, but you think it's cool. That makes you you. When I went to college, probably my third year or so, um, I remember starting to make some friends that I just went, I don't care. I don't care if they think I'm goofy. I don't care if they think I'm silly. I don't care if they think I'm wild sometimes I am I don't care if they see me skipping down the sidewalk when I'm excited because you know what by then I had learned that those things made me me and what was funny is when when other people men well young men and girls started seeing that confidence in me and that trust in myself and that silliness and that quirkiness and that outgoing and that wild, they start going, she's kind of fun. She's kind of goofy. We want to hang out with her. We want to talk with her. We want to be around her. And the funny part is for so long, I wanted to be around what I thought was stronger women and, and more popular girls. You know, and, and yet, I, I never really fit in. And in those years in college, when I started just being me, wearing what I wanted, what I felt comfortable in, doing my hair the way I wanted, um, my makeup, trying different things, um, listening to everything from rap to, to some country, um, jazz, and just being me. I love music. Some of the women that I grew close to and that I clicked with were some of the strongest women I've ever met in my entire life and are some of the best and, and most confident leaders that I still know to this day. And girls, I, my wish for you, my, if I could hand you a piece of, of my heart and of my mind that has been molded, it would be for you to, number one, believe in you. To look for you in your everyday things and be her. If you're quirky, go with it. If you're loud, be loud. Sometimes you gotta bring it down a little bit, but who you are. If you like bright colors, wear them. If you're quiet, be quiet. Don't hide it. Don't mask it. Because like I said before, the people that you'll end up around or that you, you end up fitting in with during those times that you are not you. I've been there. You are so lonely and you are so hidden. And maybe during those times when you're like, okay, I'm quirky. 
I'm loud sometimes. I'm a little opinionated. During those times when you're like, I feel alone. No one's really jiving with me. No one's really clicking with me. It's okay. Breathe. Wait. Continue to build you. Trust you. It will come. Because eventually those people will be put in your life. They will notice you. And they will be genuine. And they will be strong. And you will be ready to trust those relationships. To nurture them. To enjoy them. To not question them. To not to wonder. Do not fit into this little box that you think you ought to within their group. And I see it with so many girls. If I just wear a short shirt and, and, and guys notice me or other girls think I look, you know, better than them, it'll be good. It, you know, my, I'll be better. Really? You, I mean, you can. No one's going to really stop you. Well, if it's my daughter, I will stop her. But you don't need to be all those things. To be at your best. And you know what? Finding your best is such a gift. I want that for so many young girls. And there's so many young girls that feel like, I can't talk to mom about this stuff. Mom doesn't get it. Or mom tells me I have to do this and this and this. Our young girls that they can't talk to their friends. They're trying to figure out who their friends are. Or they think that so-and-so is their friend, but so-and-so is being a complete witch about it all. Girls, that's the other thing. Once you start gaining some strength and some insight and some self-esteem, and you're being your best to you. Stop being negative. Stop talking about others when you don't need to. Pull away from it. Hold back from it. I have a buddy um, who, you know, one of my first jobs I would hang out with all the time. And one of my favorite things about him was the fact that he never talked about anyone. And I loved that I could just hang out with him and know that not only was he not going to be bad-mouthing people, but I knew that I could trust him. And girls, somewhere along the line, I don't know where or when, it's like, well, we got to compete. We got to look better. We got to be smarter. We got to be prettier than so-and-so. Why? You don't. You just gotta be you. I know a ton of women that aren't beautiful and, and Miss Americas. And guess what? When you get to know them, they'll knock your socks off with how amazing they are. And I honestly believe you will realize how beautiful they really are. And yet I've known women that when I first met them, I thought, is she gorgeous? And they're mean. They're mean to their friends. They're close friends. They talk bad about everybody that comes around them. They're constantly trying to outdo someone else. I'm, I did better at work than them. I, I, you know, I'm, this is what I'm doing with my kids. This is what my husband and I have. It's like, you don't have to, you shouldn't have to prove anything to other people at all. This is about you being okay with who you are. And I'm not perfect at it. I'm not. But I can tell you girls that we've got to fix this. Too many girls are starting to nail each other and try to like catch each other. Like, oh, well, so-and-so, I mean... I'm an adult and I still see it happening with adults around me all the time. How can we expect young girls to be doing better when as parents we aren't? 
I want my daughter to stay out of it. I want my daughter to say, you know what? She's not always very nice, but that's how she is. I don't want to be like that. You have a choice every day. You have a choice if you ignite and start up with people when they're not being kind. Or if you maybe say, "That's I, I don't always see that. Or just walk away. Or just be quiet. As much as God has put in me to be there for other people and to listen to other people and truly love other people, I have had so many people hate on me. I don't know why. After 11 plus years with my husband, even he's like, man, Charles, some people just really get at you and try to get at you. Yep, they do. And it's not always easy. It's hard a lot. And I don't, I don't know why. I think I am who I am. Um, I have to let a lot of it go and just be the best me I can be. But I wish that we could, as women, instead of trying to look better, say, man, your hair is cute. I worked with, I worked with some girls um, in Minnesota uh, right out of college or right at the end of college who changed my view. I would go to work, and I loved going to work with them. And what I realized is I would be at work, and they're like, hey, cutie. Oh, I love your shoes. Another night I'd see him. How you doing? Oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so funny. You're so nice. And I heard them do it to everyone we worked with. And it rubbed off. And I, it was foreign to me. I'd been bullied. I, I, I hadn't felt like I'd fit in. And I was like, oh, girls are being strong and kind and encouraging. And they're building me up. And they're building each other up. And they were so connected and tight. I wanted to go to work. I felt like I belonged. I wanted to be me. I opened up. And guess what? I started opening up and being the same way too. I mean, I already was. But I trusted all of that more so. And why can't girls do that? Why can't girls encourage each other? Why can't girls say, oh, you look cute. Hey, thanks for listening. Good job. Man, your boyfriend is really cute. Good for you. Man, that's awesome that you got it perfect on that math test. But don't turn around and go, man, you got it perfect on that math test. I, I'm horrible. Ugh. Don't do that because you're putting yourself down again. It's awesome you did well on your math test. Maybe sometime we can work together. Give yourself grace, but build each other up. Trust yourself. Don't limit yourself. I, I'm telling you right now, so many hearts and minds have the ability to change if we truly start looking at some of this stuff. I'm telling you, I can't even tell you a number of how many girls and women I have personally met and been around in my 44 years that are hurting and are struggling and don't feel connected and don't feel acknowledged, don't feel listened to, don't feel loved, don't feel like they fit in. Mental health is crazy right now because so many people are struggling. We have to change this. And I'm not the perfect answer, I know that. But something in my heart and mind is saying I have to share this. Eventually, you might hear more of my story. But for now, I challenge you to trust your heart and your mind. 
Be you. Do you. Be kind to each other. If you don't fit in with one group, that's okay. It might be a gift. But don't give up. Don't be mean. You'll get there. And you'll find your, your right group. You'll find your okay man. There's no perfect. Here's the thing. There's no perfect friends. There's no perfect man. There's just being your best. Finding your happiness. Coming, coming to a place where you can be good with where you are in your heart, your mind, your daily life, and maybe impact someone else's life too. I, I wish this for everyone. I'm happy to finally be able to share some of my thoughts because I truly can say something's got to change. And I truly feel like some of the things I've talked about today, and there's more, could make a difference. Love to you all, um, and thanks for listening.